hello and welcome to another video so in today's video we're going to be talking about the eta sx2 i hope i'm pronouncing that right eta sx2 so yeah the eta sx2 is an emulator of the sony playstation 2 which is still um hopefully will forever be the best selling console ever like i spent a lot of my teen years like you know crunching hard at the playstation 2 and it is a pleasure to have this on my smartphone however the story behind this app itself is it's a sad one really uh it was developed by a guy known as talvet t-a-h-l t-a-h L R E T H Talret. I don't know, that's not his real name though. But he has stopped working on his development uh, due to the threats that came with the success of the app, as well as uh, there, was a, there was a lot of threats and con constant harassment. Death threats, even so much so that he, he had to, like, you know, let go and said, you know what, I am not developing this app anymore. So, as a result, this app can be unstable at times because it is unfinished, it is mostly beta software but the the reason i would recommend it is that it is stable enough to use uh it's it's actually very good and it is free to use although i don't know what happened uh there were no ads on it before but somebody went and you know made the update the latest update you know put ads in it and I don't know i i unwittingly downloaded the update i rather i unwillingly updated it and then boom i started seeing ads so yeah the original version was not supposed to have ads which was what i had before there is a way to download the legacy version but i have not been half asked to do so so long as the version i, I have still works yeah i'm going to put up with it so um let's look at recommended specs recommended specs recommended specs no okay fine let's talk about the list specs first so the list specs that would run the uh eta sx2 uh is an soc with at least at least four a 73 cores or two a 75 cores clocked above 2.0 gigahertz then a decent uh, mali g52 mc2 uh, gpu or an adreno 610 android 8.0 64 bits and 4 gigs of ram but you are going to run into a lot of headaches with this with these settings yeah uh i think uh uh, uh pes 2014 would run very easily on most phones but anything other than that is going to be a lottery i mean i have a snapdragon 6 uh, sorry i have a snapdragon 720g smartphone and games like shadow of the colossus for example call of duty and many other big games struggle to run on my phone and sometimes it can be frustrating when you are seeing an fps of 10 12 15 these are completely unplayable sometimes so um what i would mostly recommend is like you know anything with uh snapdragon uh, right, let's just put it like this i would recommend uh phones that have processors with cortex a78 cpu cores you know something like the helio g99 for example with a decent gpu something like uh the snapdragon 695 for example and above you know snapdragon 4 gen 1 if you can get those you know and above snapdragon 6 you know 695 765 778 and above uh, helio uh g99 dimensity uh 800 dimensity 900 exynos 1280 and so on and so forth if you can get a flagship even better snapdragon 870 snapdragon 8 uh gen 1 8 gen 2 diamond city 8100 and so on and so forth so uh this emulator supports playstation 2 iso games and lacks any backward compatibility with playstation 1 games it also supports bluetooth controllers which in my opinion is the best way to play emulator games in my opinion there is um there's an on-screen uh, controller, but then again, R1 and L1 button, they would make you, they would give you cramps. So just, just get a controller if you can. They're very cheap. Bluetooth controllers for smartphones are available and they're very cheap. And I believe if you are invested in playing games, you should also invest in a controller as well. So um, step one, install the game. Step two, create a folder and name it PlayStation 2. You can give it whatever name you like, but for ease of use and simplicity, playstation 2 now you have to go 
you can go online and just enter Google and then write uh, PlayStation 2 BIOS and voila you are going to pick you're going to have your pick of BIOS files to choose from uh, download and then uh, you know cut and paste it into the folder you name PlayStation 2 now if you did this correctly you can tap on the drop down menu and then click on start BIOS and then the classic uh, PlayStation 2 boot sequence should come up. So you would also need to go and look for games. You can download them online. Just simply type PlayStation 2 ROMs on Google and boom, you're going to be swamped. The PlayStation 2 still has the highest library of any video game console ever made. So you will be spoiled for choice, but um, do take note some uh, playstation 2 games can be really big especially games like god of war for example that can be in excess of six gigs but you know compared to um compared to <laughs> to, to pc games that are you know 10 times that amount it's really nothing yeah so um the games may or may not be decompressed so if they are already in an ISO format, then you're all set. But if not, you need to extract the compressed file and then, you know, extract it to the folder that you have uh, created. So if you do this correctly as well, the games should pop up on the app. If you've got a controller, now is the time to pair it. Just go to uh, the drop down menu, go to controller settings, go to port one, choose DualShock 2. Then under it, you have automatic mapping. You choose that and voila. You can also map it manually below, but automatic mapping is usually good for most uh, Bluetooth consoles. So other settings you may want to tinker with is uh, go to app, app settings, go to general, uh, save state and shut down. Then you can also, you know, like um, enable widescreen as well from graphics. Then you can, you may also want to expand to cut out area for those phones with a notch or with a hole, cut out hole punch. And then you may also uh, choose emulation orientation, choose uh, landscape as well. Then in uh, the uh, uh, general settings or in performance settings, you may uh, you may want to go. Where is the setting then? Okay, I'll have it on the screen so that you'd see it yourself. I'm I'm on my mic right now, so I can't really check that out. So yeah, I'm going to. This should help you run games, especially if you uh, are below the uh, recommended. If you reach the minimum requirements, but you're below the recommended specs, so you can also do this one too that should help you so if you do that correctly yay welcome to the world of playstation 2 games um unlike other apps or uh, other emulators out there this app is actually free to use and it's actually good enough good enough it runs most playstation 2 games and you'll be spoiled for choice here 60 fps for uh, uh ps 2014 and I, I i don't even my phone doesn't even meet up to what you call recommend the specs somewhere in between in limbo but it actually does okay it does okay it does fine and the playstation 2 library is a gift that keeps on giving so with that we've come to the end of this video you know you can also um there's even something i did not mention if it screens are too small for you you could even you know like you could you know go out stream out to your television and then have fun your, your phone is now is now your phone and your console as well so with that we'll come to the end of this video thank you very much for coming as usual my name is jeffrey please like share as well as subscribe and i'll i'll, I'll keep them coming if you keep coming to this channel then i'll keep them coming and i'll keep them coming i'll thank do you my very best, much for coming for sure see thank you, you for coming one. to the Bye. video and i'll see you in the next one as well as in the comment section in case you have any questions cheers and see you next time